Uh, thank you all for uh, uh, for your experience shared, and this is the the next agenda. So basically, um, follow the money local chapter is um, is actually like a kind of um, like a domesticated um, version of follow the money. So we realized that majority of our works in the grassroots has always been led by people that are in the communities, and while trying to expand the reach of follow the money activities in the state and also um, 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 also like more than the state level we realized that it is much more important to bring the people in the state together to also form like a kind of a distributed network of follow the money um, um, champions so we created what we known as follow the money local chapters so and the major reason why we created follow the money chapters is because we feel each and every chapters should be able to stand on their own and also we think doing that will also make more people to be engaged in the activities of follow the money and we think this will also be able to 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 project our work more in the rural communities because um, in the past few years, we've always been doing activities from Abuja to whatever states we are working on. So we want local chapters, uh, local chapters to be at the state to be taking on this lead, because majority of what is happening in the state is known best by the local actors. So as such, we think it will be fine if we lift the power of follow the money to these people at the state that are also in. Uh, uh, that they are also eager to start um, like a kind of a follow the money chapters in their states. So um, at follow the money, we are not interested in taking the credits for whatever you guys do in the state. But just starting out, we want to be able to mentor you. So follow the money local chapter can be like a kind of an organization on itself. We are by follow the money central, which is the headquarter in Abuja, will be like kind of uh, um, how do I call it? Like will be like a kind of a server, like will be the major point of connection for all the follow the money um, activities in Nigeria. So, and in the long run, we are looking at a kind of um, a model whereby each and every chapters we have access to donor grants because part of our activities is. If a particular local chapters are able to perform up to this point, if they are able to have a campaigns up to this point, then they can go ahead and stand on their own. So, and, and in terms of um, support to run a local chapters, we always try as much as possible to provide support for the local chapters. So basically, because uh, the mission statement of Follow the Money is empowering marginalized communities we believe people in the rural people in the states are more closer to people in the rural communities so basically we want those people to be able to take the lead in that regard so um we do not just want to go ahead and have chapters that do not understand what we are doing as an organization and if you noticed um I said criteria two is more important than the first one. So basically, the first one is assuming you've been on I Follow the Money platform for like 12 months, which is approximately a year, and you've been able to watch what we've been doing, how we have been able to go ahead and do some of our campaigns, then likely you might have been able to pick one or two things from what we are doing. So that way, um, we believe you should be able to have some bit of experience about what we are doing. But basically, if you don't want to wait on that, then you can pick on criteria two. So criteria two is you looking at follow the money procedures. You see what we've been doing and you feel, okay, fine. This is a project in my state. I want to undo it. And you start the project, like you start the campaign. You start tracking the money in the campaign. You start working with some of our lead investigators and you were able to let's say um to, to able to navigate the campaign and you understand while doing the campaign you will understand what we are doing and how the follow the money model works so basically 
that is one of the most important criteria to have a local chapter then the last one which is you must have your team members on iFold the money platform um, you are not expected to be just a one-man team and as such we want you to have a team of people that also believes in follow the money so you can be able to work and harmonize your work because one thing is united we stand divided we fall so you having a team means okay fine you are ready to have a local chapter in your state then once you meet this criteria then we can now start talking about what are the deliverables of um, local chapters to get a local chapter seal how do you do that in some of those things so basically that is the criteria of uh, becoming a local chapter.